of deer, though, weren't you? Yes, actually, I was. So you because seen... of Bambi. Deer. <laughs> yeah. Hang on, because of a, a fictional. <laughs> this doesn't make sense. You've seen a fictional reindeer. Well, if Bambi, in the had, sky. if Bambi flew, then I probably wouldn't have believed in deer. Did you stop believing in carpets when you saw Aladdin? <laughs> I don't understand how you can go through life without seeing a real reindeer. Sorry, are we talking about reindeer? <laughs> Not... Hello, I mean... David. No, but... <laughs> mean... It was a Barbra Streisand song from Yentl that didn't do very well. What was the song? Papa, can you hear me? Oh, a lovely oh, tune, yeah, love that one. Love but it. not on Yentl. It so is. <laughs> it certainly is. That was a test. <laughs> <laughs> There's a walnut in your parents' house. Yeah, you, is. for whatever reason, maybe hunger, want to open it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's a sledgehammer. So who was witnessing this? There were... Um, my parents were there, my brother, his wife, my wife... Peter Gabriel. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, sledgehammer. Oh, yeah. Very good. <laughs> Sorry, I'll rephrase that. Rob and David aren't going to get this joke. <laughs> what happened? Was it? You'll find it... it's there's absolutely no visible scar. <laughs> <laughs> I believed everything until we looked at his funds. And there's nothing. And there. then I was like, that man not only has not hit himself in the thumb with a sledgehammer, but I don't think he's picked up anything in weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I once spent the night in a bush in Basingstoke. <laughs> <laughs> David's team. Right. That's a true. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. Why were you spending the night in a bush in Basingstoke? I missed my train. Where do you live? Uh, well, at the time, I lived in Kettering in Northamptonshire, right. Rose of the Shires. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why didn't you go to a luxury hotel? Well, David, uh, at the time, I had no money in my wallet at all, and my phone was dead. I had no way of contacting anyone. That certainly adds up. Why a bush? <laughs> Why not a bench or, like, yeah. somewhere warmer than, than a bush? Well... Is a, is a bench warmer than a bush? <laughs> I would say a bush is warmer than a bench. A bench is definitely colder than a bush. It's more exposed. There's an old saying, you're warmer in a bush than on a bench. <laughs> <laughs> So where was the bush? Mm. Paint the picture of the local It was right area. in front of the train station. And there was, like, a little, like, pick-up point for taxis and stuff. And then a, it went down a little bit to the road. And then right in front of the road was a load of bushes. So you didn't look for a long time for a particularly comfy spot? I'll level with you, David. The <laughs> amount of time it took me to decide to sleep in the bush was embarrassingly short. Right. <laughs> <laughs> was it? <laughs> Now, that does surprise me. It was a quick decision. You missed your train, and you yes. go, right, that's it. And you immediately, like, 14 seconds later, you're snoring. Well, I actually didn't get to sleep. It was scary. I, I, I was freezing, actually. Ah. Even though the bush... It was a nice, roomy bush. Can you remember the shape of the leaves? <laughs> <laughs> it was, like, small little Basingstoke leaves. Individual leaves. <laughs> yeah. Variegated? But, uh, OK. Yeah, you have to explain what that word means. <laughs> <laughs> it means there's sort of um, uh, there's a sort of white bit on the outside. I think I wasn't paying attention to the leaves. I had bigger problems at the time. I wasn't sitting in the bush going, one day I may have to justify this entire experience on what I like. <laughs> I better memorise the leaves and whether they're gentrified or whatever you said. <laughs> 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 So, James, you've settled down in the bush yes. and you're lying there, but it's cold. Oh, I'm sitting there. Sitting in the bush? Sitting there, cross-legged and cold. I had a T-shirt on. A How are you going to go to sleep sitting? <laughs> I was scared. What so I, I had not really... Oh, oh, it was Friday night in Basingstoke. There were hoodlums around. <laughs> and all you had on was a T-shirt. And jeans. And jeans, of course. Yes. yes. <laughs> you still feel like what? the bench is warmer. <laughs> So, did, did anybody hear you in the bush and, and come and At investigate? one point, they did. At one point, some hoodlums stopped outside the bush. They said, you know what we haven't done in a while? 
<laughs> we haven't we haven't beaten someone up in a while. <laughs> <laughs> That's how they speak, David. Bullies speak like that to each other. And I was in the bush, and I, at the time I was wearing a red dress. <laughs> what did you say? What? I was wearing a dress by now. What, what? Why? You said you're in a t-shirt. Originally I was in a t-shirt, and then I had to put a dress on. <laughs> why did you put a dress on? Why? It was cold. Where did okay. you get a dress? From? I had it in a bag. <laughs> why? <laughs> I was, I was making a short film, and I had to buy the wardrobe for the cast. <laughs> You're in the bush. The hoodlums had moved on. They didn't beat you up. I tricked them. I put the bag over my head. <laughs> you seriously put the bag over your head? Yeah. Put yeah. yourself in my shoes. They're saying they want to beat someone up. If they look down and see me wearing a dress, it'll be like Christmas. <laughs> so, I put the bag over my head, and now if they look down, they'll think, Some... someone's left a bag, and a dismembered body Hang on. in a bush. <laughs> People at home, don't put bags on your heads. No, no. Let's go back yeah. to the temperature of this bush now. <laughs> you said you went into the dress for warmth, but surely the jeans and the T-shirt were warmer than a the dress. There's a lot I of don't think... I think, think he said fair, he put the dress on over. I don't think over. he took the jeans <laughs> and the T-shirt. <laughs> yeah. oh, he did. Oh, it was he double. Did. Yeah, double. Yeah, but he didn't slip out of the jeans <laughs> and the T-shirt. <laughs> Fold them up nicely. <laughs> At the side, and then get yeah. the dress and put it on and go, oh, I look wonderful. <laughs> he wasn't doing that. Oh, he's, right. By the end of the night, he's wearing the jeans, the T-shirt, the dress oh, and, and the, the bag. bag. Oh. <laughs> I'll just say, it's lucky this didn't happen to Melvin, because if so, he'd have been on a bench wearing a dress and nothing else. <laughs> Let's go for a guess. Is he telling the truth? Melvin, oh. what do you think? I think, looking at James, I can believe that he could put on a dress with a bag over his jeans and T-shirt, but a man that picks a bush over a bench, I can't trust. <laughs> <laughs> so, on that basis, it's a lie. Oh. Faye. I I've got to absolutely say it's true. true. I'm believing every element, really. I'm going to go true. True. Yeah. You're saying true. Right. James, was it true? Or was it a lie? It's true. <laughs> <laughs> James, how do you know Jerry? This is Jerry. He's the fireman who every Boxing Day soaks me with water during a festive game of squirt. <laughs> oh, OK. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> squirt is a game. Is it? Two teams of firemen. OK, so that's... For a game of squirt, the first thing you need is two teams of fire. <laughs> and they go either side of a river. <laughs> yeah. And you get a rope and you tie it up in a tree at one side of the river and then you run it along and you tie it to a tree at the other side of the river. Yeah. But before you've tied it to the other side, you thread a barrel across it. Of course you do. This thread of barrel. <laughs> yeah. What if there's a fire in the local area <laughs> during the lengthy setup for a game of squirt? Well, he's not. They can't put out fires anyway. He's only volunteer. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> They're just a volunteer fire brigade. They're not allowed to put out fires. <laughs> what are they allowed to do? <laughs> just look at them. They're... I've permitted to pick up litter. <laughs> what, what, Where do they get the fire engines and everything from, then? Their fire engine's an old one. It's more like an ice cream van that's painted red. <laughs> the, the, the volunteers, do they have the, the uniforms? No. Uh, the Kettering Volunteer Fire Brigade have a T-shirt and it has an emblem on it of a fire being put out by a beer. <laughs> Talk us through the rules of squirt. Hmm, OK. <laughs> <laughs> you get the barrel to the middle of the rope, right in the middle of the rope, and then both teams aim their hoses at it. Are, are the volunteer firemen allowed real water or do they just mine it? <laughs> no, they're allowed water, they just can't but... aim it at a fire. OK. <laughs> If there was a fire, they would have to turn the hose off. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so what happens next? Someone's like, 
Go! <laughs> and then they both turn their hoses on and they aim it at the barrel. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to get the barrel, trying to squirt it along the rope so it gets to the opposition side of the bank. And all the water is hitting this barrel yeah. and we're standing on the bridge. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Getting soaked. Yeah. And then you walk home going, good squirt this year. <laughs> <laughs> right, now then. Is Jerry Sean's concerned copper, James's fireman friend, or Lee's peeved paramedic? Oh, I don't. I mean... I think it's James's. You think it's James's? Yeah. I no. think it's Sean. I mean, I think... We're, I think we're agreed Lee is lying. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the question is, is it James or Sean? I think it's a mate of James's from the pub who was a volunteer fireman. I'm not happy about this. <laughs> <laughs> because my instinct is that James is telling the truth. Right. But I know what that's saying publicly. I'm pub <laughs> I know what I am then believing. Mm. I'm believing a game that is played across a river between volunteer firemen <laughs> with a souped up ice cream van and squirting a barrel in which the locals come and stand and watch in just the place where they get splattered with water. <laughs> What's it going to be? I just... I think it's James. You're going to go with James? Yeah. Go on, Jerry, so I'm it's James. would you please reveal your true identity? I'm Jerry, and I'm a volunteer farmer who <laughs> soaks James. <laughs> and what's from there? Hello, Jerry. <laughs> yes, Jerry is James's fireman friend. Thank you very much, Joe. One Christmas, on hearing I wasn't going to get the present I wanted, I tried to drown myself... <laughs> ..in protest. Daisy, <laughs> tell us the story. Well, I wasn't going to get the present I wanted. Which was? What did you want? The S Spice Girls debut album, Spice. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lie. <laughs> so weird, cos I did get it and I did try and drown myself. <laughs> no! Don't applaud that! It's a great album. How old were you then? I was, like, 10 or 11. Right. So you wanted the album... No, he really, then... really wanted it. <laughs> Stop. Right now. So you wanted the album? Yes, uh, I, I really, really, really wanted. It. <laughs> <laughs> in case you don't be smiling the edge, yeah. Can I just say stop, stop right, right now? Right now. Yeah. <laughs> I love that one if they use this. <laughs> Who's your friend? Big ears. <laughs> <laughs> so what happened, James? I wanted the Spice Girls album, Spice. And so did my sister. We'd both been pestering our parents a lot for the, the album. My father decided he had to tell us before Christmas who was going to get the album or not, because he didn't want an upset on Christmas Day. And so he waited until we were in a safe space... <laughs> ..with the local swimming pool. <laughs> We'd all gone for a, a family yeah. swim. Yeah. A lovely Christmassy thing to do, a lot of people. <laughs> Do a lot of swimming in the run-up to Christmas. Yes. Because <laughs> uh, it was in honour of the seven swans of swimming. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's why we did it. Yeah. <laughs> we were swimming, and then my dad called a, a family meeting. <laughs> Shallow end? Shallow end, yes. Oh, you're not treading water during a family meeting. <laughs> <laughs> he said, right. It's a week until Christmas, and I'm just going <laughs> to let you know that R Ruth is getting the Spice Girls album. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <Yes. laughs> exactly. Well, where were you then? Because <laughs> at the time, I looked like I overreacted. <laughs> well, t take us through this reaction. Paint a picture of how a young James reacted. It was like a storm came over me. I was very angry. And then I turned and I walked to the other end of the shallow end. I did a whip. Yeah. <laughs> I would have stormed away, but it's very hard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Way 
wade through the water. <laughs> you have to say every now and again, I'm really cross. <laughs> Went to the other end, and I turned round so they could see my face, and I just sat down slowly. <laughs> I, <laughs> And I was under the water. <laughs> I went, well, I was thinking this. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll either stay here until one of two things happens. <laughs> either I get the Spice Girls debut album Spice, or I'm gonna die. <laughs> Which happened? Well, what happened... <laughs> what happened was... I came back up again, and I saw that not only were they not... They were just carried on swimming. <laughs> <laughs> They've got always under the water now, and my dad quickly oh. went, problem solved, and they carried on swimming. <laughs> <laughs> what are you thinking, Noddy? I just don't think his dad would do that. I think he'd buy two albums. Oh, I'm unaware that you knew my father, Noddy. <laughs> right. <laughs> what do you think about the two albums buying? issue well like as a parent i just would have thought that just quietly like going off to hmv to buy an album is easier than taking the whole family for a group swim <laughs> <laughs> so what are you going to say david what's it going to be I think it's false. i'll I think say it's lie false. you think it, that you both think it's a lie mm. i'm going to say lie okay yeah. james were you telling us the truth or was it a lie i was telling the truth <laughs> 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 Yes, it's true. James did try to drown himself in protest over his Christmas present. This is Mick, and for six months, he was my sworn enemy when a practical joke got out of hand. <laughs> so Mick became your sworn enemy because of a practical joke? That got out of hand. That got out of hand. Yes. So what was the practical joke or prank? First of all, I'll say for the record, before we carry on, I hate this boy. <laughs> I'm nothing but content for him, and I'm furious he's got on this show. <laughs> <laughs> I just think I feel I can only see him every second Friday. <laughs> <laughs> so what was the what was the practical joke, James? He put cabbage leaves in my bed. <laughs> How did he get in your room? I was staying at his house. <laughs> on a sleepover? How old are you? <laughs> <laughs> a few years ago. <laughs> yeah, well, he wouldn't have been born. <laughs> he, was, he was nine. And you were, what, 31? <laughs> <laughs> I was, what, 28? 29? And how do you know him? My, I, I know his dad. He's, he's his son. <laughs> <laughs> and you were staying at their house? Yes. Why did he put cabbage leaves? Why is, what is, why is that a thing? <laughs> well, it's not a thing until he started doing it. Yeah. <laughs> There's something severely wrong with him. I don't know why he started... <laughs> but you say st this kind of started stunt. doing it. Was yeah. He, what, what do you mean, start, this is a one, a one occasion when oh, you're sitting there? Well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first of many, David. So, you, so I said got out of hand. You I do not use those words lightly. <laughs> So you regularly stay at the house of... Oh, no. Oh. This little man does not restrict these pranks to his own house. <laughs> he has no respect for anyone's privacy and will cross any boundaries available to him. I hate him with all my heart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so he initially put cabbage leaves in the bed you were sleeping in when you True. were staying at his father's house. <laughs> Yes. Right, and then subsequently, <laughs> yes, he has followed you and put cabbage leaves in other places you've been sleeping. No, okay, <laughs> what then? He sent me a cabbage in the post. <laughs> <laughs> he sent me half a cabbage, cling filmed in a box. I was out when they delivered it. I'd go to the post office to pick it up. <laughs> There was a note inside that said, you got cabbaged again. <laughs> so, OK, so he, 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 he's doing that. Did you... 
<laughs> bearing in mind that this is a minor, did you at any... It was a major, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> <laughs> did you at any point retaliate? Yeah, but it took me six months. <laughs> what did you do? After six months of this... Well, I... when you say six months of this, yeah. what is this? There's the initial <laughs> cabbage leaves in the bed at, yeah. at his house, yeah. and there's the posted cabbi half cabbage. Yeah. Anything else? Is Grandad cabbage me to my face? <laughs> what does that mean? Gave me a present. It was all wrapped up nice. I thought it was a nice present. I unwrapped it. It was another half a cabbage wrapped in cling film. <laughs> <laughs> Members of the public started cabbaging me. I made the mistake of talking about it on the radio, and then everyone got the idea, and I couldn't turn up to a gig without there being a cabbage hidden somewhere in my dressing room. <laughs> well, thank God you're playing safe and not saying it on telly, eh? Yeah. <laughs> So, did you retaliate? Did I you... Absolutely, did. I removed all of his belongings from his bedroom and replaced them with cabbages. <laughs> <laughs> That's, I would say, a disproportionate response. <laughs> Six months of my life, David. Six months of my life of not knowing where the next cabbage was coming from. It was horrible. <laughs> I had to go big. I've been cabbaged so many times. Somebody started a Twitter account was tweeting pictures of cabbages on me every day. They said stuff like, oi, oi, savoy. It was horrible. <laughs> It's just the tip of the iceberg. It's a lettuce! It's a lettuce, you idiot! No, but come on, cut me some slack! No, no. You I would say that anyone who that. can no. enjoy that joke about a lettuce would have to be a sociopath. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, David's team, which way are you leaning? I believe Gabby, but James is just weird, so I believe him even more. <laughs> your, your paranoid view seems to be the whole country's in on it. Now everyone's sending you cabbages. Every time people laugh at me, I suspect they're my enemy, which makes my job very difficult. <laughs> <laughs> you think Gabby, you think... Gabby, but James even more. And uh, David thinks it's me, so... Yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Um, James. <gasps> You're going for James. Mick. Would you please reveal your true identity? I'm Mick, and I am James's worst enemy. <laughs> Mick is James's feuding friend, and here's the proof that, <laughs> that that is what James did to Mick's bedroom. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mick. See you another time. Peace! <laughs> Kevin Town FC. <laughs>